Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing really, really well. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm going to do a one brand video, something I've never done before, I don't believe. We're going to do a full face of NARS. They recently had this incredible 50% off sale off of a lot of different things, probably things that they're phasing out because they are limited edition items, things that they just wanted to get out the door and move on because NARS comes out with tons of limited edition collections all throughout the year, especially over the holidays. And I guess is whatever they had left from this holiday season and even earlier in 2021 they decided to try to phase out and clearance out so I saw a post from Jamila I will link her channel it's like jammy oh gosh I don't remember I'll either put it up on the screen or link her channel down in my description box Jamila is amazing Jamila has a much more vast luxury collection than I do but she also is a bargain hunter like I am and she's always on look out for them sales. So I was really grateful that I saw that post. I then saw my friend Eileen repost that sale and there was one item that made me run a run to the website. But of course, couldn't just get the one item because you know I had to get to the free shipping had to get to the little bonus offer which was actually really cool and I'm gonna share with you guys really quickly what it was that I bought and then we are going to do this full face of makeup using all NARS products. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you and you guys would like to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. All right, so before we get started really quickly, hi everyone. I don't know if this video is gonna go up first or my Sephora haul from the spring sale is gonna go up first, probably the Sephora haul, if I can edit it first and then this. But as always, long time no see, unless you guys have just seen me in the Sephora haul. I know it's been really, really hit or miss for me as far as posting. Sometimes I'll post a couple of videos and then disappear for yet another month. I'm really sorry, it's been busy. Just came back from California, played two concerts in one day, and then. And had a flight with a seven and a half hour layover and I'm still recovering and I got back like three days ago <laughs> But I'm on spring break. I am teaching a lot of makeup lessons, so I don't really get a spring break. But I had today. I had a few hours today and I was like, you know what? I want to film. I've wanted to film for weeks and weeks and weeks and just haven't had the time. So I made the time today. I am at a friend's apartment that I've been staying at. So hence a different background. There's this gorgeous screen that I can use as a backdrop to hide all the mess, my mess behind there. You guys are going to see me like in different locations and and doing different things. I figure it's more fun that way for a little while. So hey, why not? If you're new here, hi, my name is Natalia. I am a concert pianist and a beauty lover. I did a Nobody Year in 2020, totally fell off the bandwagon in 2021, kind of fell off the bandwagon recently again in 2022, but I am ready to play with makeup again. And I am excited to try all the things finally, not just buy all the things, but try all the things. If you're interested in seeing hauls, empties, conversations, about trying to become a more mindful shopper again and I don't know, just having fun having fun as my friend Kara from Beauty and the Frizz says makeup therapy right if you're here for some makeup therapy then please subscribe join me and without further ado let's try on some NARS products I'm excited okay my haul let me quickly show you guys what I got first of all I love of course the aesthetic all black with the same type of packaging that NARS in general has. Even like my little packing slip return label came in this gorgeous black envelope. I have this really nice NARS sticker, which I didn't even want to destroy. So I've been like taking the products out from, from the side. Everything was wrapped much nicer in bubble wrap, each individual item. I've already dug into it to try it on. So I just wanted to at least show you guys how it came. All right, let's start with the star show because let's face it this is what i went to the website for i wanted this palette ever since the holiday season when it came out and all of my friends here on youtube who got it was saying it's like a hidden gem even though it's a basic neutral palette this is their climax eyeshadow palette gorgeous red packaging i love this red packaging of course it already has fingerprints because i just used it today gorgeous color story i have not swatched it let's do that i wish i still had daylight i started with daylight but i've been here for a while doing all this i'm gonna try to cut this video down but if it's like three hours long i apologize okay when am i gonna do this we're gonna go like this 
So that's the top shade, open wide. Then we have private show, first gorgeous shimmer, passion play. That's this one in the upper corner. Oh, that is so pretty. I hope I'm swatching okay. I am not a good swatcher. One of the colors I used today, you're gonna see it in action. This is Envious. Look at that. So pretty. My favorite color. Spoiler, spoiler. My favorite color, because you guys know I love greens. It's called Hooked, and that's right. I am hooked. Look at that it's like a steel green. It's like a, I don't know what it is. It's beautiful is what it is. Okay, this is like a different texture. Less sparkly, more like a satin, I guess. What is this called? Next level. Let's check this one out. Ooh, really pretty. Still really pretty, but yeah, it's not, it doesn't have that like glitter specs like the other ones do. I hope you can see. This matte is really pretty too. I don't know how it's gonna swatch, but I have that on my outer V. This is called Up in Smoke. There it is. Shall I build it up? Why not? We have this color, which was interesting. I expected it to be more like brown burgundy, but I put it on my lower lash line and you guys will see it later. It almost looked purple to me at the time. There's that, really, really nice. And last but not least, another gorgeous shimmer. Oh, I'm gonna love that one too for like, it's called Night Rhythm for a smoky eye. Oh yes. Oh yeah. There we are. I think this is something I'm going to use for stage, for travel, for nights out. I mean, you guys are going to see me apply it and gosh. And I only used today five out of the nine shades. So obviously I'll need to do more looks and come back with more thoughts because this was just a first impression today. Right. The other things I actually purchased because then there were some gift with purchases. I purchased three lipsticks. Two of them were from the Claudette collection. And the reason I got these was A, I love the Audacious formula. B, I thought the colors were cool. C, I thought packaging was adorable. And D, I have a wonderful subscriber that recently sent me the eyeshadow palette that came with this collection. So I just thought it would be so cool to also have a couple of lipsticks at 50% off. This is in Sylvie. So that's what Sylvie looks like. It's interesting. It's like textured. I don't know if you guys can see. All the other audacious lipsticks I've ever had have been smooth. And then I also got the one in Claudette just the name of the collection, which I thought, hey, and look at this. This is, so one is like a red with a black hearts and the other one is a black with red hearts. I couldn't, I couldn't resist. Now this one, ah, interesting. I should read up on it. This one has that smooth finish. So I wonder if this is a slightly different formula. Ah, it's an audacious sheer matte lipstick. Now I do remember, that's why I ordered two. I wanted to try both formulas. I already knew I like the regular audacious formula. So I've got these two gorgeous, lipsticks and if you guys watched my lipstick declutter from last year one of my favorite if not most favorite lipsticks of all times is the nars audacious in anita my second favorite is in anna and my anita this one has no smell but my anita had a smell she went bad when i saw that they had this one i'm gonna swatch it at 50 percent off i was like you know what oh so smooth okay i have to do this for you guys on camera Hello, hello. Did you see that? Did... And it's in special gold packaging. It was just right. I just, I had to. I missed her. I actually still have her somewhere because I was gonna do a whole video swatching all of my nude lipsticks to try to find one as close as possible in my collection. And then she was 50% off and I was like, nope. 
Nope, I'm just gonna repurchase it. That, that's what's gonna happen. Okay. So we got the three lippies and then everything else were freebies. Can't remember if it was like, if you reached 50 or $65 or something, but if you reached a certain amount, you got a little mini bronzer and a little mini blush. Now the bronzer I already have in a big size plus in a face palette, but it's Laguna. It's their infamous bronzer. But look at this adorable packaging. The travel, I mean, how cute is this? And a blush in Orgasm X. Not the regular Orgasm, but the Orgasm X, which I have heard great things about from that palette that came out with this blush sometime last year or the year before. And I always wanted that palette and people have found it at TG Maxx, but I never did. So when I had the opportunity to get it, for free, well, that's basically why I got these. Lipsticks and a blush and a bronzer. And I got two samples that were not part of the bonus offer. It was just, I think you get two samples with any order. I've got the Radiant Creamy Concealer sample and the Climax Extreme Mascara sample. So you're about to see me try all this stuff on. Is there anything else I've forgotten to mention? Hey guys, not quite editing me here, but me that finished filming the video, put everything else away me realizing that I forgot to show you guys the foundation that I used because this is not part of my NARS haul. This is part of my Sephora spring sale haul. So you guys will see it there and it's the light reflecting foundation and I got it in light for du Duville, Duville. I know I talk about it later in this video but since I just showed you guys everything else I thought I'd pop on and just let you know that I'm a space cadet and I'm sorry I forgot to talk about this. <laughs> All right signing off back to regular scheduled programming. It took me a really long time to put this face on. So I think I need to just stop talking and we should jump right in. So if you're curious to see how I created this look and to hear more thoughts and first impressions, then please keep on watching. All right, we are going to do something really exciting today. We're going to do a full face of NARS products. And by full face, I mean an almost full face, whatever I have. So I think I already talked about it, but I placed a NARS order. And then also in my Sephora haul, I picked up the very much currently raved NARS light reflecting foundation. Hopefully you guys are just excited as I am to test out these products. I don't have a nurse primer so I'm just going to use my Tatcha liquid silk canvas primer. I got this in a little set that I actually found at TJ Maxx. It came with a few other products but I knew I really enjoyed this primer. I've gone through a small size like this. Should I put my hair up? Isn't that what all the legit beauty gurus do. Well, they clip their hair with these cute little clips and stuff, but I don't have that. So we're just gonna do a claw. Let's bust into this NARS foundation. I don't know if I got the right color. This is probably the first high-end foundation I've purchased for myself in, oh, I don't know, a decade. And I wish I was kidding. I think the only other high-end foundation, not a drugstore one that I've ever purchased for myself, it was a Too Faced foundation. What is their most famous one that came out, I feel like almost 10 years ago? Was it Born This Way? I think that was the only other high-end foundation I have ever bought for myself. Everything else I've used and tried has been drugstore. So this is this is huge for me. Let's hope I did well with the shade. I got this all online. This is in Duville. I'm staying with a friend who is a Canadian French. I should ask him how to pronounce that. Is it Duville? Duville? All right, how should I do this? Should I pump this out on my hand first? Should I put it straight on my sponge? I guess let's go straight on my sponge. Ooh, it's quite, quite liquidy. I know for the most part, this foundation has been getting really good reviews. I was hoping today was going to be a revolutionary day in so many ways, not just to Natalia buying herself a really high-end foundation for the first time, but I had this plan of derm planning for the first time, you know, AKA shaving my face. And I even filmed it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that video is gonna go up first or second or third. <laughs> But let's just say it was a total bust. I feel like this is a little dark for me and a little yellow. I can see, I'm gonna have to bring this down my neck. So in the summer, this should be good. But right now I am at my palest and I feel like this foundation is a bit 
dark. I mean, also, I'm in front of a ring light, which is always deceiving, but yeah, I can tell it's too dark for me. I do have to say, so far, from what I can tell, it is a medium coverage. It's not covering up my little red spots on my nose too, too well. I am breaking out because I just traveled for some concerts a couple of days ago, and I came back on the last day that masks were still mandatory on planes, which I have to be honest, I was very grateful for because while I'm all for us living our lives again, I am still on the cautious side. So I would say medium coverage, very natural finish. To me, it doesn't look like I have much foundation on. Now I don't put a lot on ever in general. Gosh, my ears look like two shades lighter. <laughs> this so far, except for the shade, which I think I can make it work, especially in the summer. So far, this is good. I guess we'll have to see how it wears. Okay, for concealer, this is the OG Radiant Creamy, which I have never tried. And uh, they were offering a little sample pack of it with my NARS order. So I went ahead and got it. And of course, I'm going to try the vanilla shade, which is the very lightest one. There's vanilla, custard, caramel, and cafe in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other three. Maybe see if any of my friends would like to try these. If you live in the States, want some of my samples that I can't use due to coloring, let me know. So... That's it right there. I'm gonna dab with my finger onto my face and then blend it out with my sponge. Forgot to put eye cream on today, so we'll just have to see just how radiant and creamy this stuff is. So let's check it out. Yeah, the color difference, of course, is a bit drastic. The concealer, I feel like, is more true to the color of concealer I would use, and the foundation, as I mentioned, is a bit dark. I gotta see how many lighter shades there were in the NARS foundation. I usually select like the second or third one, and not like the absolute fairest, because usually that one is too pink, and I am a neutral. So if there is a fair neutral, that's usually what I go with. And I don't remember how this Duerville Duerville was described, to be honest. All right, well that blended out nice. I can't say it has fantastic coverage like I can still see all my blueness in here but it's not accentuating my dryness and all of my little fine lines and have these little growths and milias and all sorts of things I've always had that around my eyes it's not from using too much eye cream or whatnot like I know some people say it's just something I've had since I was a teenager and it just gets worse as I get older which I guess is to be expected. I'm gonna put a little more just to see how does it layer and does it get like too cakey and too thick and does it cover up more? Does it build on itself or am I going to start looking older than I am which is what happens with a lot of concealers if you apply too much. It's okay. I think I liked it a little bit better with just one coat. I'm feeling like it's starting to get just a teeny tiny bit cakey. The sponge helps. It absorbs anything extra and since it's a little damp I feel like it adds a tiny bit of hydration but yeah like right away my wrinkles are out to play. Now I know that I don't really want to be applying two layers, just one. Should I set it? Should we see how it goes without setting? I usually always set my concealer because with these crevices in there, I don't see how it can possibly not gather. But I'll let it sit on its own for a few minutes. And if I have to, I will go back with my beauty blender, re-mush re it up or whatever, redistribute it and then set it. As I already showed, I got a gift with purchase, which is their famous bronzing powder in Laguna. I actually have full size of this and I have it in a palette, but I don't have either one with me. So I'm just going to bust into this new one. And then this is a blush that I think came in a set that was quite hyped up. A lot of people really liked it. It was like a set with three different blushes, I think. And one of the blushes with it was the Orgasm X, not the original. I'm excited to try both of these products. And I don't think I'm going to powder because this is more of like a natural finish for me. This is not glowy or dewy at all since I'm dry, like especially my forehead. I prefer something that's dewier, that's for sure. In fact, let's take my Tatcha Luminous Skin Dewy Mist or Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which was also in the set. And let's do that instead of setting it with a powder. Look at how cute this is. This is so adorable and it has like the little bronze packaging on the box. And it has a teeny tiny mirror, which is dark because I guess maybe you have to peel something. But honestly, like what do you do with a mirror that size? Let's do this. And 
go at it. This is the BK Beauty 104 brush. I absolutely love this brush. For bronzer, I mean, I love the few brushes of theirs that I have in general. I really want that Angie set that just restocked and that they're also selling as individual brushes. I just have spent so much money lately that I need to cool it. So not right now, unfortunately, but maybe one day. I was actually watching Lisa J, who's the owner of Vicky Brushes. I was watching, she posted an Instagram uh, reel, like a video on her recent vacation to Costa Rica. It was so beautiful and so relaxing to watch it and see the scenery and all the places they were eating and oh, it just looked amazing. If you guys need a little travel inspiration or you just in general enjoy seeing videos of people's travels, I highly recommend you go watch that on her Instagram. I mean, she posts tons of amazing beauty content, obviously, as well. What are we thinking about the Laguna bronzer? I haven't used this in years. I have pan on my big one. I remember liking my Laguna bronzer. I think I used to be afraid of bronzers back in the day and I used to use them more as like contour like I would and I mean even today right I focus it kind of here and then push up I'm not one to usually go over the whole face but I do go under my chin especially right now because Natalia's put on a few in the past few months I need to get back being more active just started for hot minute there and fell off the wagon. I'm trying to, now that the weather is starting to warm up, get back on the wagon. I don't know if you guys can see the bronzer on camera. I can see it. It's subtle, but it's there. Just generally how I like it. And I'm really happy to see that I can use this because as I was starting to say, I used to be really afraid of bronzer. Like I always thought, I'm going to overdo it, especially with this Laguna one. I always thought, well, maybe it's a little too orange for me because I am so pale. But this one, I don't know if it's a different formula. I'm really liking it. And I love the size for travel. This is ideal. I'm so excited to try this blush. It seems very shimmery in the pan. Should I swatch it? All right, let's do it. Where are we going to put it? Right here. Ooh. Wow. Okay, that looks beautiful. Looks like a original orgasm, but a bit maybe deeper. For those of you guys that have both, cause I don't have the original, I got rid of it. I was never a huge fan. But for those of you that have both, let me know what's the difference between these two. Cause right now with my phone being in front of me, I can't really research it. I'm gonna put this on the brush, but I think that I need to tap it off on my hand because otherwise I'm gonna have clown cheeks. Ooh, that's pretty. And it is very glowy to the point where like you might not even, you know, if you're not into highlight. Oh, we have some cars. What else is new? If you're not into a strong highlight, you might just want to do the blush because it really does glisten on its own. I like it. I do, I really like it. And I love that I now have it in this tiny little travel size. What do you think? I hope you can see it. I hope I'm not washed out. All right, so we're gonna go without highlight then today. Look at that swatch. The blush so far might be my favorite. Well, we'll have to see how the foundation wears. I think because of the color discrepancy, I am having mixed feelings. I really like how it looks. I'm just not sure. But this, this is beautiful. So the star of the show, which Unfortunately, I don't believe you can get any more, but this was, I think, the holiday palette that NARS released. It's their Climax eyeshadow palette. I wanted this for so long. I remember when this came out, my friend Eileen from Emerge Beauty, and by now I won't remember who, but tons of other people kept raving about this. That this is basic palette, but it is just amazing. And it went on this super sale, this 50% off sale. And I even wrote Eileen, I was like, oh, after all the hype you gave this palette, you best believe I was on that site in one minute flat. So this is gonna be the star of today's show. I don't have the NARS primer. I of course have my never ending Marc Jacobs primer and if you followed any of my project pants for the past two years you know the story with that one but I also have a bunch of new eyeshadow primers a wonderful subscriber of mine sent me a care package a couple of months back 
and she included, I think she included the Milani eyeshadow primer as well as these three more high-end ones, the Milk Hydro Grip eye primer, the MAC Prep and Prime 24-hour extent eye base, and the Laura Mercier eye basics. I don't know which one to try today. I heard mixed feelings on this. Now the thing about me though is I don't have the oiliest of lids. My eyeshadows tend to stay on pretty well but I'm so sick of that Marc Jacobs one that I was like you know what I'm trying a bunch of new products today and I owe it to myself if I can get it open to try a new eyeshadow primer and I think I'm gonna go with the milk makeup because if I'm not mistaken even though it's not new it is the most recent of the three if you haven't seen that's what she looks like a double dose to hydrate and hold grips pigment locks on color 93% natural infused with hemp derived cannabis seed extract well that's appropriate considering I'm filming on April 20th hyaluronic acid and blue agave extract directions apply a thin layer onto clean eyelids or under eye area and blend with fingertips well too late for the under eyes, Natalia should have thought of this sooner. Allow formula to dry down completely to activate grip before applying eye makeup. Can be used with powder and cream formulas. Okay. Glad I'm reading. Ooh, I thought it would be like a squeezy tube. It's a wand. Oh, how cool. Let's put a little bit on. All right, should I pat it out with my fingers? It's like a slightly silicone -y thin gel. There's the, the milk primer. It's clear, so I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so thin super thin you almost don't feel it but it does have that little silicone kind of situation i'm not sure though i understand where the grip part comes from I no longer feel it at all it's not like sticky so what do they mean by grip all right let's see what we can create with this so it looks like the lightest color is not going to be an all over the lid shade for me like a bone color it's gonna go straight in the crease what do i want to do though those greens look yummy so if i were to use these three colors it would go in my shirt but those greens and honestly even these taupes <sighs> feeling the green you guys forgive me if i don't match to my shirt and i go with a green look what are we thinking is that okay we're gonna go with the bk beauty 202 brush i'm gonna first go in open wide i think the names the names uh, okay we're just going to assume they're talking about our eyes that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna assume super creamy love it like the mirror which for me honestly is a big deal and i like the mirror even though i haven't peeled it anybody else do that i've had palettes where i realized that i've never peeled the mirror years later and i use it all that time Please tell me I'm not the only one. It's kind of embarrassing. So this color, I knew it was gonna be uh, darker than my skin color, which is why I told you guys I can't really put it all over my lid as a bone color. But I have to say, I feel like it's even a little bit darker on me than I envisioned. Granted, I'm also not sitting in the best lighting. So usually my ring light is closer to me. It lights up more what I'm doing. So today I'm a little bit in the dark, but I really like this color. For me, this could be a one and done. All over the lid color, like that one or this one, if I'm in a hurry and I am out the door. And it's blending so nicely. Let's take this MAC. 217 and let's go in with that green in do i even want to know the name up and smoke okay and we are going to put this in the outer v i'm gonna pack it on first that's a really pretty color wow and then i'm gonna smoke it out and we are going to smoke this out so sometimes with these deeper shades, once you start really blending them out, you lose their initial color. Like they kind of become muddy and almost all gray or dark brown or whatever. And this color is not a bright green to begin with. It's more of dark olive green. But I like the fact that you can still tell. You can tell it's a green. Tap more of this color back in because I feel like my eyes always leave little bald patches. I don't know what's up with that. All right, let's go to the other eye for now. I'm not getting any fallout with these matte shades, so that's nice. So far, I'm really liking this. I think we will leave it here for now, otherwise it could sit here blending until tomorrow. I almost feel like this would go really nice with that mauve color too. Maybe that's what I will do. Just a little bit. 
make myself feel like I have matched it to my shirt just a teeny bit, especially here in the inner part. All right, I'm gonna take my MAC 242. We are gonna take the center shade Hooked and put it on the brush generously, Ooh, maybe too generously. And then I am going to spray it because I always do. Doesn't matter what the eyeshadow is, the brand, that's just how I roll. Okay, are we ready? Oh, that's pretty. I really like that. It feels like, well, at least right now, I haven't swatched, but it feels like a pretty dense formula. Like, I don't know, well, it could be the primer. Maybe this gripping primer is actually gripping because I feel like the shadow is fighting back just a little bit as I try to glide it across my lid. So I'm wondering if that is, oh, guys, look at that. Okay, I'm sold. Yours, even with all of your raunchy names, I'm sold. Eileen, it looks like you did not steer us wrong. I think with the exception of a bone shade, which I do like to have on hand, this has just become my travel palette. The only other thing maybe this is missing is like a really bright shimmer, like a true champagne or something, but I actually like the fact that this is a neutral palette that's not like too light, that it has depth and oomph. We're gonna take this brush with no extra product and just blend out the edges. Now, I don't have a NARS eyeliner. I don't know if I have one at all, but I definitely don't have one here. I do have a mascara sample to try. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump off camera and do an eyeliner. I'll probably just do my brown wet and wild eyeliner liner in summer brown now. I'm gonna do my brows and then we're gonna come back and do the lower lash line and the mascara together. Do the lip and I think we'll be done. I'm sure I've been here forever. I say that like I'm surprised, but yeah, I think I need to be done is what needs to happen. So I'll be back. I'm back for the lower lash line and the mascara and the lips and final thoughts. What do we wanna do on the lower lash line? Do we want to also do the green or try something else? Did you scream try something else at the camera? That's what I thought. We're gonna first stamp on that beautiful burgundy-ish reddish brown right here in the outer lower lash line. Ooh, that pulls a bit purple. I did not expect that. Oh, and this is, what is this? This is a vintage cosmetics company brush. I'm sure I got in some sort of a subscription box eons ago because it can barely read anything. I think it says step three, go girl, go on it. So I don't know if that's the name of the brush. I like to use this on my lower lash line to get really close because I don't like it when I go like too raccoon eyes on the lower lash line. I feel like considering my eyes are pretty big as it is for the size of my head, even though the size of my head is increasing along with the size of everything else. I don't like to use pencil brushes except at the end with the lighter color to diffuse. Anything dark, I use a little brush like this. Then, do I have another brush that's similar? Let's maybe try this one. I got this set from BH, like TJ Maxx or something. This is a BH number 11. This came in a, was it a gemstone maybe set or a birthstone set or something? I can't remember. Do I want a little bit of this shimmer or this shimmer? Let's go with this since I was worried not matching anything to my shirt. So I'm gonna gently tap it and then I am gonna spray it. Don't want that fall out and I want that sparkle. So we are going to stamp it in on the inner part as well as in the inner corner. That's really pretty. It's not quite as rose gold or mauve. Well, I guess it's more rose gold than mauve is what I should say. Now let's take a pencil brush. Let's go in with our initial shade. Now we are just going to diffuse this whole situation. So this is where I can go a little bit lower. Hide also any of the wrinkles, any potential concealer creasing. This is where all of that can be camouflaged. 
blend these corners. I feel like I still went a little low. I always do that. I go a little low with my blending. Instead of like going up, I kind of drag my eye down. I need to get better at that. Do you have any tips aside from tape, which leaves a bit too harsh of a line? I mean, I know you can then go back and diffuse it. So maybe I should try that. We're gonna leave it there. I don't have a NARS lip liner, but I do have, as you guys have seen, three lipsticks to choose from. I'm gonna go with Anita. She was my favorite. This packaging. And she went bad. And I don't even know if I've still thrown it out because I was really hoping to find a dupe in my collection. And then I saw it 50% off and I was like, you know what? No dupe needed. She's gonna dupe herself. Oh, brand new lipstick. Why is it so hard to use a brand new lipstick? I forgot the lip liner. That's how distracted I am by this shiny brand new lipstick. Guys, look at this. <laughs> this is my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Oh, and guess what I used to sharpen it? It's a great, great little sharpener. I was considering getting a second one because I think they had it 50% off in this sale. We're gonna attempt to line my lips with this teeny tiny lip liner in Pillow Talk. I should have done like a video of all the cliches. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, NARS Orgasm. All I need is tart shape tape and we would have the oldies party here. Like the beaten to death theme would have all come out to play. Here we go. Mm, I'm so excited to have it back. Mmm, mm, smooth, creamy, opaque. This one feels more creamy than my other one did, even from the beginning. And so I don't know if they've changed the formula a little bit, but I do love that color. All right, for mascara. For mascara, we have the Climax Extreme Instant Volume Mascara. You could get two samples. So I got the Radiant Creamy Concealer Pack and a little mascara. I've always wanted to try the regular Climax Mascara. I still have it. And it comes, I think, in that similar red packaging that the palette does. So now I kind of really want it, but moving on. So the wand is a very traditional, natural. Does it have a little curve? No, just tapering. So let's check this out. Okay. I feel like it's adding length right away. I'm not so sure about a ton of volume. We'll see, maybe on the second coat. Let's do the other eye for the first coat. Okay, maybe. This one actually, for some reason, is more clumpy than the other eye. I guess I, I got maybe more product. I'm not gonna dip in again because I feel like then they're gonna get really clumpy and I don't like clumpy lashes. I like full dramatic lashes, but I want them still to be defined. And I think because of the way my lashes grow on this eye, like the way the lengths are all over the place, this part tends to look the clumpiest with certain mascaras. But except for that, like if I can fan them out, actually, except for that, not bad. I do very little on my lower lash line. I mean, lashes, because I don't like the crazy spiky lower lashes look. Never been my thing. I think three hours later, I'm finally done. I am now a bit more glowy, but that is because I used the Tatcha Mist. And actually, considering that the NARS foundation was, for me, like a bit too natural, too flat, I like it with the mist. I'll have to try it, of course, without the mist. I forgot that this was supposed to be kind of a first impression. And hopefully, you know, you guys did see it before I spritzed the heck out of my face. Okay, let's take out the claw. Let's zhuzh up the hair. All right, here we are. My first impression and first time doing a full face of one brand and it is NARS. Let's run down real quick. Foundation. Wish I got a different color. Really like the finish, especially when I go a little ham with a dewy spray or something after just because i am so dry i like to have a little bit of a glow bronzer and blush love love especially the blush forgot to mention the concealer quite impressed actually considering i didn't set it 
quite impressed it is you know it's like a medium coverage but i think considering i prefer that where it doesn't look heavy and cakey especially at my age than having you know white out on my eyes but having it be very visible so i actually like to go for lighter coverage more creamy concealers so i might consider this one in the future we'll see i'll try out the little bit that's left and decide at a later time star of the show though i mean Okay, star of the show. Love this palette. So excited that I have it. So excited that I had it 50% off. And I really like mascara so far. Obviously, with me, the main test of mascara is does it transfer? Does it fall? Does it flake? I'm going to film at least one more video tonight. I will see. I might put some updates down in the pinned comment or something or in the description box for you guys. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have any of these products. Let me know different ways that you use them in case you saw me do something really silly and um, I should stop. <laughs> um, and other than that, other than that, I think we're done. Thank you so, so much for being here with me for this really exciting try on. I am so happy to be back little by little. I'm so happy to be playing with makeup again, to be trying new products. I, I really need to reel it in and cool it down and get back to some low buys, no buys. But you know, I let myself go for a little bit. I let myself go the past month or two. And now I'm excited to actually start trying all of it. I have a ton of indie palettes that I know are old news on the internet, but I don't care. I have a ton of things that probably have been discontinued by now like this, but I don't care. I just want to hang out with you guys. I want to chit chat about makeup. You might have some of these products and if not, you might have some other products by these brands or just, I don't know, it's just fun it's just fun to chat regardless of whether we have the makeup we don't have the makeup i am just so so grateful for every single one of you that comes here and leaves me comments and chats with me and um i know i don't get to do as much of it as i wish i could i wish i could be watching more videos commenting on more videos chatting with more people marker polling with more people but it's just been it's hard it's been hard i work a lot i have just a lot going on and um when I'm here, it's my relaxation time. It's my me time. And it means a lot that you come and join me um, and I get a chance to chat about makeup with you guys. So thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and joining our makeup family. Other than that, I hope that you guys are doing really, really well. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy and that you are taking care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.